Jesus and Prayer number six. And today we're going to be talking about uh, some logarithm equations. So we can see this is our first equation that we're going to use. As we say here, it says take logarithms from both sides of the equation, as we can see, this side and this side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move this one to the other side, and you're going to see why. Because what we need is just one number alone, and we need the sign to be changed, as it says in here. So this one goes in here, so this is going to be our new equation. And then right now, what we're going to do is that we can see that this one has a log, so we can plug that in here too. So we're going to put everything together. This one is going to stay in here alone. And then we're just going to plug them in here as an equation. We plug it in our calculator and this is going to be our answer. We can just leave it like this, but this is like the best way to do it. Okay. Another example that we're going to do right now is this one. So we can see there's some exponents in here, but we need one alone, right? As I told you. So right now in this one, the one that is going to be our constant, it's going to be this one. Okay, so what happens if it goes in here, it's going to change the sign as in here. So, we're going to go in here and then we're going to add these numbers. This is going to be the result of adding these numbers. And then as we can see in here, what we're going to do is this logarithm 10, this one goes to the other side. And then we just ended up with our exponents in here, as we can see. And then uh, we're going to use another constant in this case because remember that we want one alone. So we're going to choose the three. And then <clears throat> the three is going to go to the other side and it's going to be negative. And then we're going to um, see that this one gets in here, but it still has a four. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it in here. So it's going to look like that. And then we're just going to plug that in your calculator and that's going to be our answer. Remember that every time that a number goes to the other side, it's going to be negative. And when you see this, it's logarithm. Remember, it's 10. So right now we're going to continue with the other topic, but we're going to do it in a difficult way. We can see that we add some logs in here. This is one and this one's going to be another one. So we're going to start with this one. Uh, as we can see, there are log 4 and log 3 here. So, since we have the bases the same, we can just put these ones together and nothing is going to happen since it's the same. Okay? So, we put this out. And then we have just our bases in here. Remember that <clears throat> we need one of the constants. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we're gonna just going to change this in here, as we see. The signs change, as I told you in the other example. And we just have to start like adding or subtracting. And in this case, we subtract since we have a different um, different signs. And then this is our result, but we need to get out of this one. So what we do is we divide, this one's delete, and then the result of this one is two. But remember, this is gonna be because the log is the same. Let's take a look at this. So, it's the same, right? What I told you, if the log is the same, just take it out, and then we're gonna say what, what was in the parentheses. So, <clears throat> we're gonna move the 18 inside, and then we're gonna look for a zero, okay? <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put them together, and then we're gonna factor them out, even out and that's our basis remember how we get the signs in the middle this one is a positive this one is a negative the first and last sign it's going to be the one that goes in the parentheses and then this is going to be our first answer and our second answer okay so right now we're going to talk about substitution method and we're going to talk about um about two variables since we have one in here and two in here okay we don't have another one so uh basically how it is uh we're, when we're talking about substitution it's like substituting so we're going to find the easiest one 
and we can see the y is along in here so we can plug this y in here so that's going to be really easy so we plug this one in here 2x minus 7 instead of putting the y we're going to put this equation in here and then we're going to have to look for x so we plug that in here and then we just put everything in the calculator and it's going to end with 500 okay so basically you have to know how to substitute and how to uh, distinguish which one goes first so and now that we have the x we're gonna uh, instead of uh, substituting the y we're gonna substitute x so we can look negative 4 x that's gonna be 500 plus 1800 equals y and then we find our y in this example we're gonna do the same which one goes first this one goes first because this one is alone so we're gonna plug this one in here three and then what is in the x negative 10y equals uh, 1900 and then this one is gonna be our first answer and then we're gonna substitute the y so we're gonna put 5y 5 negative 100 since we know what's the value of y plus 800 equals x we're just gonna plug that in in the calculator and this one is 300. So right now we're going to talk about substitution method with three variables. So we have one, two, three. Okay? It's not that hard, just pay attention. So basically we're going to take two first. As we can see, uh, we're going to take this two first and then we're going to separate them in here and in here. So <clears throat> we're going to take the first and the first and then the second and the third. Okay, it's easy to do it with two variables. Okay, so we're just gonna start calculating that out, and we can see that we ended up with this. This one is the first answer, and this one is the first answer in here. So we just gonna add it, and then we're gonna plug this one in here, and this one is gonna be our answer. Okay, and then um, we're, since we have x and why we can take any of these ones and just plug that in here and uh, we're gonna get our third uh, answers since we saw in here we use the first one and then in this one we're gonna do the same we're gonna take the first one and we're gonna put the, the third one and it doesn't matter which one you take you have to have groups of two okay groups of two all the time in this one we use the second and the third but it's two as we can see and then we just are like plugging that in and then we end up with this we add that and then we've got our first and the second uh, answer and then we can just choose any one of these ones in this case we use the first one again we just plug all of these numbers in here as substitution method and then we find x y and z 